All right, guys, today I'm going to be talking about the FlySky GT3C radio and why I think it is basically the only radio you need to own in terms of ground control. So first off, starting from the bottom, it comes with a rechargeable battery, which is awesome. You don't have to carry around double A's all the time. It uh, recharges from a micro USB port. So if you have a phone charger, you're good to go to charge your batteries. And also one more thing. This comes with an 800 milliamp hour battery, and you can get larger 1700 milliamp hour batteries. Um, these rubber grips, it comes with two of them, a small and a large, I believe. I have the large on right now, so if you have really small hands, you can put on the small one, I guess. Uh, it's got a nice bearing in the wheel, so it steers fine. It's got a nice big screen up here. I'll show you, turn it on later and show you all about that. It's got three channels. It comes stock with three channels. So this is the third channel and then trim for the third channel. And this is dual rates, but well, we'll be changing that later. So, but the thumb, the uh, thumb buttons are super nice and accessible. So like I said before, it comes with three channel receiver. Um, up until this point, it's really not that special, pretty average. The thing that does make it special is that there was custom firmware written for it by a guy named PSX. And that custom firmware really opens up the possibilities and makes it into a top-notch radio, I'd say. as It's still good as a stock radio, but nothing special. But with the firmware, it's pretty incredible what you can do. So... This one does have the firmware on it. Um, the biggest change, I think, after the custom firmware written is you can have up to eight channels. So the transmitter will output eight channels and you can buy a eight channel flash guy receiver. I'll put links to all this stuff. Um, it also has just logical controls. Well, I'll turn it on for you here. You can have multiple models. I have this set up for my summit. So that's model zero, but you can, uh, think there's, yeah, there's all sorts. You can have up to 60 plus models. So you can have one radio for your truck, your boat, a tank, whatever you're into. Um, it shows the voltage on the main screen, which is super nice. Just switch it back to my summit. Okay. Um, time, these are timers, if you're into that. You can reverse, you can adjust the endpoints, you can trim the channels, set up dual rates, set up exponential, ABS. There's all sorts of different features. Um, it's, the options are pretty much endless once you have the hacked firmware. And it's a little tricky to figure out at first because of the limitations of the screen. But once you read through the manual and figure out, it's actually pretty easy. So a nice handy feature about being able to reverse any channel or endpoint on any channel or trim on any channels. If you have servos doing things like shifting for your diffs and they're buzzing on one side, you can just trim them back. So you would just, if you long hold, it gets into the more advanced menu. So... Like number six I used for my four-wheel steer, and I had to trim it back negative um, 31 or whatever. So you can trim each channel, and you can set the endpoints on each channel. Which really makes it handy for, well, see these are my servos. Third only had half the range, and then the other way I did 100, so basically any sort of travel limitations can be accounted for in the radio which is super nice uh, you can also set up four wheel steer and dig in the radio itself you don't have to use any external module or uh, computer on your model or whatever so right now i have the sixth sixth channel set up as my four wheel steer so the first channel is the first is the front steering the back channel is the or the back Steering is the sixth sixth channel, and I can adjust it with these two buttons. So that would be all 
rear steer. This will be four wheel steer. That's all, all front steer. And then I can use this button for no crab or crab steering. So that's pretty handy. So I imagine dig would be set up similar to how four wheel steering was set up. Uh, I'll do a video later. I actually have a basher rockstar, which I plan on doing dig and four wheel steer on. So maybe I'll make a video in the future showing how you set that up and go through all the things. I should also make a video showing how you set it up with the summit because that's, I think, the perfect radio for this. But just stay tuned for that. Overall, like you can do a wide variety of pretty much anything you want can be done as long as the uh, settings will allow you to do it. So yeah, it's a super handy radio. Um, it's sold. I got mine from Banggood. They sell just the normal ones. They sell pre-hacked ones. So it has the firmware already installed. Then they sell ones that are pre-hacked and they have extra switches like on the front and side maybe. I'm not sure, but I don't really think that's necessary because like I said, there's, you can use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten extra buttons in addition to the trigger and the steering. So I don't think you really need extra switches, but it's there if you want. I'll put links to everything in the description. Um, I'd, if you're semi-handy, I'd just recommend hacking it yourself because I think they charge another 30 bucks or something. And it's really not that hard. You can get the little programmer for like five bucks. And if you follow the video, it's semi easy. Um, the only other thing I want to mention is this is a GT3C and there's also a GT3B, which is very similar. It's kind of like the version one. It doesn't have a bearing in the wheel and it's got an inefficient, uh, voltage regulator. So it burns through batteries more. But this one runs on a 1S, I guess you'd say, just a single cell LiPo. And this one actually runs on 12 volts. So it comes stock with, hmm, comes stock with um, an 8 AA battery holder. But you can rig it up to run a 3S LiPo or like I have 318650s in here. So it's handy if you want to drive an external module. I have a JR module, which I can plug in there because all it needs is a PPM out, which both of these radios have a spot inside for. And then you can also get use the 12 volts off of here, which will run an external module, whereas the four volts or whatever off of this one won't. So for most everybody's uses, the GT3C will be better. But if you plan on using an external radio module for FPV or whatever, then I would get the GT3B. So yeah, they're uh, overall super functional radios. Uh, you can do pretty much anything you want with them. So the links are in the description and stay tuned for more videos about setup and use and everything like that.